What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off a personal favorite of mine in the Sinnoh region, which is Honchkrow. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But before we get into today's team preview, I'm going to ask a big favor of you guys. So recently, I've been trying to get some personal research for a personal project of mine of my fan base. So if you guys want to go down to my community tab and answer a few questions, there'll be like three or four questions, getting me a gauge of what you guys are about, your age group, your hobbies, all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, it is a personal project. I know it's going to benefit me as a content creator, and it is also going to benefit you guys. Cannot wait to uh, show you guys the project, show you guys what I'm working on. But seriously, just do me a favor, go to that community tab and answer those questions. They're just like quick multiple choice questions, quick little poll questions. So all you got to do is go there and tap it up a little bit. So seriously, shout out to everybody who's actually uh, going to that community tab right now and answering those questions. But let's get into the team preview right here. We got Honchkrow right here. Honchkrow is amazing. I absolutely love this Pokemon. One of the coolest designs of a flying type like it looks like it has a giant little like hat on right looks like it has a giant hat and you just can't go wrong with it this thing has a life orb as item it is dark and flying type with the adamant nature to make it hit even harder considering it is a physical attacker evs for this guy is going to be attack and speed we're just here to hit pokemon hard maybe set up a tailwind and get some damage off all around we have insomnia so we cannot be going to sleep and then the moveset is sucker punch for first turn priority night slash for stab tailwind to set up speed control and brave bird for heavy stab damage cannot wait to use this pokemon especially with this life orb and pick up some big ko's next pokemon on the squad is another pokemon that we haven't used on the channel yet and that is Tangrowth. Straight up grass type Pokemon. This thing has Sleep Powder put Pokemon to sleep. Giga Drain to get HP back. Sludge Bomb for a coverage move and Rage Powder to soak up shots. EVs for this guy's HP, Special Attack and Special Defense. Regenerator as its ability. Modest Nature and then lastly its item is going to be that Koba Berry so we can actually eat up a flying shot. Third Pokemon on the squad is Cresselia. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Super great in all different situations. Very bulky and can outlast a lot of these Pokemon in the format. This thing has leftovers as item to get HP at the end of every single turn. Nature's going to be bold. EVs are going to be HP, special attack, and defense. Levitate, obviously, as its ability. And then this thing is rocking out with the moveset of Calm Mind to set up. Psychic for stab, Ice Beam for coverage, and Moonlight to get some HP back when needed. Next Pokemon, Storm Drain Gastron. This Pokemon is amazing up against all different kinds of teams. It's ground and water type cannot be hit by water moves and plus it gets a special attack boost every time someone tries to hit it with water move we got earth power we got scald both for stab ice beam for coverage and recover to get as much hp as we need in these battles evs first guy is going to be hp and special attack we're just trying to bulk up we're trying to hit hard with this guy and just get after it that way like i said ability is going to be storm drain nature is going to be modest and lastly the item this pokemon is holding is going to be that citrus berry so we get hp when we fall below half Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Heatran. Heatran is just a beast. It's just such a good Pokemon with great typing all around. It is fire and steel with the modest nature. Did not say it's item. It is holding the Shuka Berry, so it can take up a ground shot. EVs for this guy is going to be special attack and speed, just so we can outspeed Pokemon and hit like a truck. Flash fire for its ability, and then moveset is going to be Heat Wave, Earth Power, Substitute, so we can set up and potentially stay in the battle a lot longer, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Last Pokemon for this squad is going to be the one and only Rotom Wash. This Pokemon is just amazing all around. Great special attacker. You can make him defensive. You can do a lot of different things with him. But for this case, we have him built as a special attacker. We got Hydro Pump. We got Thunderbolt. We got Nasty Plot. And we got Will-O-Wisp for burns on physical attackers. EVs for this guy, HP and special attack. Making this thing nice and bulky. Making this thing hit like a truck. Gotta love it. Levitate as its ability. And then lastly, it has Modest Nature with the Eye Papa Berry as its item. Guys, if you want to check out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Pokey Pace is going to be down in the description below. It has all the EVs, all the moveset, everything you guys need to know about this team. But without further ado, let's go hop into some battles and look to get some wins with this Life Orb Honchko team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, locking in the Honch team right here. I absolutely love this Pokemon and cannot wait to showcase it for you guys. But like I said in the team preview, go to my community tab and answer the poll questions. I'm trying to get a gauge of my audience, their age, their hobbies, and all that good stuff for a personal project of mine that's going to benefit you guys and benefit me. So do me a huge favor, go to that community tab and answer those questions. It really does go a long way. So seriously, shout out to everybody who's doing the community tab right now. But we're hopping into our first battle. This guy's got a very meta team right here. He's got Raikou, he's got Latios, Togekiss, Sizzle. Or, um Gastrodon and Hitmontop. I gotta bring in Heatran just for the sheer fact is uh he counteracts on the uh on the scissor and I might end up leading this Pokemon. Could be a great lead special attacker, it won't be affected by intimidates. It can counter onto that Raikou, which is a decent lead. Could counter up onto the scissor, which is a decent lead there as well. So I'm gonna go into Heatran for turn one turn one. I could go into Honchko for another turn here as well. 
for turn one. Maybe try to set up a 10 one, but it's kind of scary if he's going to lead the Hunch, bro. I mean, if he's going to lead the uh, Raikou. Because Raikou is super effective on him and Togekiss is. And Togekiss. So who should I lead? Should I lead the Honcho? We're going to try to get this Honcho rolling here. I do absolutely love the Honcho. I think I need Gastron in the back. Gastron can be pretty good here. Hmm. I'm going to go with Tangrowth. Tangrowth's not bad. I could honestly lead the Tangrowth. I think I'm going to do I'm going to lead the Tangrowth. Go with two slow Pokemon. Bring Honcho in the back. Try to throw him a curveball. And then last but not least, do I bring the Rotom? I could bring the Rotom, but I think Cresselia is going to be a little bit better here. I'm going to end up bringing Cresselia. Even though I do like Storm Drain Gastron, it is what it is, though. It is what it is. But Honcho is just... That's the only problem with him. He's a very predictable lead because he is a Tailwind user. So most of the time, you're going to think he's going to lead Tailwind. He's going to go Scissor and Gastron, so he maybe can just poke out here and do some work. And we got Tangrowth on the other side, so great lead for us. Really, really good lead for us. Really, really good lead for us. So I'm just going to go into his Heat Wave. I could honestly just sub up. I could sub up and just pose a Giga Drain. I might do. I'm going to substitute here. There's no way a Scissor stays in, right? Like, a Scissor's got to protect or something. So we'll see what a Scissor does here. He doesn't even protect. He's not protecting or swapping. Wow. That's honestly crazy. What's he going to do here? He's going to go for an X Scissor into me. Can we soak that up? We do soak it up. Good work, Tangrowth. Good work, Tangrowth. And we could have just went for that Heat Wave, man. Giga Drain's going to poke here. We're going to get off some mean damage and get back some mean HP. So love it all around. Love it all around. We have a substitute set up and we have a Pokemon down for the count. So great lead for us. Great re re lead for us, Black Can't Speak. And we're getting off to a strong start. So we have our sub set up on our uh, Heat Train. And I wonder what he's going to do with his next Pokemon. Who's his next Pokemon? Because once we get off a Heat Wave, that Scissor is dead 100%. But Tangrowth is both. Both the shot up. He's able to eat up very easily. And he's going to go in the Raikou. So now we can just drop a free Heat Wave. And what do we do from here? We could Rage Powder. Or I could try to put a Pokemon to sleep. Or I could Hard Swap. Could hard swap into Cresselia here, but if he's going for an X Scissor, that's going to be super effective to me, so I might as well just let the Tangrowth drop, right? I might as well let the Tangrowth drop. And I mean, if we can get off a Sleep Powder onto this Raikou, that could be huge for us. He's gonna end up Volt Switching, which is totally fine. Hopefully, our sub can actually eat that up. We shall see. We shall see. We know Heatran outspeed, so this could be a really good turn for us. This could be a really good turn for us because, you know, Heat Wave's going to come out here, take out the Scissor, and then we're going to be able to put Togekiss to sleep, which is great, which is great. And a lot of these Pokemon would have countered my Honcho, which is definitely scary. So if Heat Wave pokes here, I'm going to say bye-bye to Scissor unless it's Sashed. And it's not Sashed. Scissor, get on out my face. So, yo, Tangrowth's thriving in battle number one. He is thriving because now we can just Sludge Bomb over here. So far, yo, battle number one's looking real good. Big old Sleep Powder on him. Great lead for us. This is how good, like, leads can make you win battles. Like, look how strong our lead was. We had two Pokemon that can just counteract. We did make a, a read on a play that didn't happen, but most of the time, you know, Scissors are protected. They're rocking out with Protects. They're doing all that stuff. But from here, you know, I'm just going to go into this. I'm just going to go into a Sludge Bomb here. Or I could Rage Powder. But, you know, we're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. And he's going to end up going for... Ooh, this thing's rocking with Scald. Can we eat that? We do not. That's a little rough. That's a little rough, but it's all good. We're going to bring out Honchko now. Do we bring out Honchko? I mean, Honchko is probably not the play. Tokus is still slumped. And actually, yeah, Honchko is going to be the play because we do have Rage Powder on our camera. Which I really like. So let's run pokes there, and we get off some lovely damage. We get off some lovely damage. So we're going to go with the Honchko here. And I think I'm just going to start Night Slashing onto this uh, Raikou. I think I'm just going to start Night Slashing. I'm going to say that Tokus is slumped for another turn. We're going to go into a Night Slash here. Look to get a crit, or I could take out the Tokus here. I am going to take out Tokus. I'm going to take out Tokus, and I'm just going to Rage Powder this one. I'm just going to Rage Powder this one, pull out the power of Honchko. And of course this thing wakes up, and he's, he's going to protect. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This thing wakes up very easily. He's probably going to go into like a, a lightning move, something along those lines. Let's see. Let's just see how this one plays out. He's going to go for a Scald. That's easy eats, baby. Now, is this a choice? Is this thing could be choice? He could definitely be choice, and I really like if he is choice. Because why else would he be going for a Scald, here, right? And why else would he swap with the Volt Switch? So we're just going to go into Brave Bird here. Rage Powder up, and I think we pretty much have this battle on lock here. Rage Powder out. Hopefully Honchko outspeeds the Togekiss. That's all I really need to do. I know it won't outspeed the Raikou. Yeah, I think Raikou is. I think it's choice here. I think it's choice. It's not getting burns, which is awesome. Brave Bird, Honchko outspeeds. We're going to say bye-bye Togekiss. And that's pretty much GG, Joe. That is pretty much GG. Solid first battle. Solid first battle. Great lead, to be honest with you. He threw out the Gastron. We had Tangrowth to actually counter that. He threw out Scissor. We had Heatran to counter it. And we're just rolling out strong. Up against a huge meta team. 
And we got to show off Tangrowth and Honchko in Battle Normal, which is awesome. More so Tangrowth. We'll definitely get Honchko in the next battle, but we're just going to go straight for Night Slash. Look to get a crit, and I think we're just going to Rage Powder again. I think we're just going to Rage Powder. Let's see what he does. If he Scalds again, he's definitely Choice, right? He got to be Choice. Choice Spec, something along with Yeah, he's Choice. He's Choice all day. Scalds can come out here, and Tangrowth goes down here, but Night Slash is going to be able to come out here and do some big damage on the Raikou. Not going to be able to take it out, but hopefully we get a crit and get off as much damage as we could possibly get. Night nice Slash coming out here. Life Orb stab. Loving it. Oh my god. Honchkrow. Honchkrow chill on him. Gets a mean crit. And I can just sucker punch out here and win. That's GG's. That is GG's. Beautiful first battle. What a way to get this video started. What a way to get this video started. But yo, look at my Honchkrow just chilling there. Flapping his big wing show with his cool tail and his hat feather. Looking amazing. Sucker punch for first turn priority. Gonna come out here. And then we're just gonna drop a Psychic and finish this off. But I think this guy cancels, right? He does not cancel. So he's going to have to take up on the Sucker Punch and lose that way. So GG's. One and only gets the video started. Top for a second. Look to go back to back. Our first battle went so perfectly. Our lead just totally counteracted him. We had Tangrowth. He had Gastrodon. He had Scizor. I had Heatran. Just totally counteracted him and got after it in battle number one. But yo, what is this? Battle number two, this dude's rocking with Kai Ogre. Rocking with Kai Ogre in this format. I never see people use like restricted monsters, but it is what it is. We're gonna try to get off a win here. He does have the ride chew with lightning rod. Um, we are we definitely gotta bring in Storm Jig Ash Dog. That, that's an absolute must, right? And Tangrowth. And Tangrowth. We could lead Honchkrow and Tangrowth. Try to get after the battle that way. And then go in the Gastron in the back end. Maybe he's, he's probably leading Raichu, right? Actually, we might not even lead Honchkrow. We might just go here. So we could lead these two. I mean, he might lead that uh Ludi Cole, which is kind of scary. Ludi Cole is definitely scary. So do you think he's going to lead the, like, the rain squad? He's probably going to lead somebody with fake out, right? He's probably going to lead somebody with fake out. And I kind of want to go into like Gastrodon here. I kind of just want to lead Gastrodon. Just pose that Storm Drain threat and have Rotom in the back alongside with Honchkrow. He has a lot of different options here. He does have a lot of different options, but let's see who he's going to go into. This is kind of scary. It is kind of scary. Especially with Kyogre. I'm hoping we can get ourselves this win here. This would be phenomenal. This would be phenomenal. Getting a win while this guy has a restricted mod. So hopefully he's bringing four. Hopefully they're bringing four. Let's see. He goes Kyogre and him on top. He cannot go into any water move here. He does have fake out ready to roll. And we're going to go into Tangrowth alongside with Gashon. So he could fake me out. He can do, uh, he can do a, a good bit. He can do a good bit. Just is going to come in hot here. And I'm just going to go into a Giga Drain here. All right? Intimidate's going to come out from him on top. We have two special attackers. So I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. Intimidate's poking out here. And who's he going to fake out is the real question. He does bring four Pokemon, which is awesome. I could put him to sleep or I could do some big damage on him. I'm going to try to put him to sleep here. I'm going to try to put him to sleep. And I'm just going to go into a straight Scald here over on him on top. We have the rain rolling. Should be pretty good here. Fake out's going to come out here on the Gastron. I'm cool with that. And Tangrowth is going to go second. And he's just going to go straight for an Ice Beam, which Tangrowth should be able to eat up. Tangrowth should be able to soak up. Yes, sir, Tangrowth. I love you so much. And Sleep Powder's going to poke here. And it connects. Lovely. Okay, so cool. We connect on that. I could swap and get my regenerator, which might be my play here. Which might be my play. Gastron flinches. And we could just go straight into Rotom. Yeah, we're going to go straight into Rotom. And we're just going to Scald. We're just going to Scald. We're going to get regenerator back with our Tangrowth. Get some HP back there. And we have a great solid first turn there. Because the Giga Drain would, wouldn't have killed that Pokemon. But it still would have did some big damage onto it. He's going to end up withdrawing Kyogre. We're going to withdraw Tangrowth at the same time. So I, I'm digging this turn. Ludicolo is going to poke here. That's going to pose a threat onto my, uh, onto my Gastron. That is going to pose a threat onto my Gastron, which is a little scary. Definitely a little scary. Here. Definitely a little scary. So Rotom's going to poke here. What's this hit my top going for? A wide guard. Going for a wide guard. Cool with that. It's a waste of a turn. Just a waste of a turn. Thinking I'm going into what? What was the wide guard? I'm going to look confused. Give me a burn, though. Give me a burn. So he does bring a restricted mod. Um, he does outspeed us, so I think I'm just gonna go into a Thunderbolt here. And maybe just swap into Honchgrowth. Or I can go back into uh, Tangrowth here. And then maybe swap Tangrowth again. <laughs> Get some more Regenerator going. I am digging this. I am digging this. I'm just trying to waste out turns right now and gauge this battle out. So we're gonna go into here. We do have the Kyogre Slump. Tangrowth's gonna poke out here. And we're gonna we're gonna say he goes to a grass boot, right? Up and hands can come out here. Are you going into the grass move? What are you doing here? Oh, is he going after Rotom here? This could be scary. Giga Drain's going to poke out here. Yes, and he goes in tank. And that still KOs me? What you mean? What do you mean? That still KOs my Tangrowth? Get out of my face. Life Orb, Helping Hand. Okay, I see a lot of boost there. Thunderbolt's going to poke out here. How much damage are we getting off on this thing? Nice little chunk. Give me a para. Give me a para here. No para comes out here. Um, I could bring out you. 
Or I could bring out you. Let's have a lot of options. He has a lot of options which he can go into. Uh, Oscar's gonna come out here, and I could set up a Tailwind. This Tailwind could be low. Tailwind could do us really good here. I think a Thunderbolt does KO this thing. I could Brave Bird, or I could Sucker Punch. Ooh, what do I want to do? What the machines want to do? Um, I'm thinking of just Brave Bird. Could be Tailwind. What is our call? I think it's Rocket Ice Beam, but is, Han is Hans gonna be, able gonna be able to eat up an Ice Beam? I mean, I could do this. Hmm. He's gonna go for like a Giga Drain or something. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. I'm just gonna Brave Bird. I'm just gonna Brave Bird into this thing. It's really cool, really posing a threat. He's gonna help a hand. I think he just takes out my Rotom, right? Did you just take out my Rotom? Yeah. Rotom's dead. That's rough news. Can this this Brave Bird should be able to take out, and then we we're still we're still we still have a chance here. We still have a good chance if Honcho can clutch up. I'm kind of upset that that Giga Drain did take me out, but this guy's got a this guy's rolling strong. This guy's rolling strong. Brave Bird should be able to take us out. Big guy Hans here should be able to do enough damage to finish this thing off. And Kyogre's still asleep in the back. So good kill by us. We're sitting in a solid spot here. We're not sitting in a bad spot. I know that for a fact. We're gonna take some mean recoil damage on top of life or damage, but I do like where we're sitting. I really do. I really do like where we're sitting. So we're gonna bring out Gastron here. Gastron's gonna come out here, and we know a Skull can KO that hit him on top. So, and he's gonna bring back out Kyogre. So Kyogre's gonna come out here. I am just going to go into. What do I do here? Do I take speed and Scald? I could go speed and Scald, or I could just go here, Scald, and go into a uh, good bird. But I'm gonna go into a Night Slash, try to get off as much damage as I can onto Kyogre before he does wake up. Before the Kyogre does wake up. It still hasn't used his first turn to sleep yet because it, it used the move and then it swapped. We'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. So we get rid of the Ludicolo with the Swift Swim. This one is going to be a close battle, but I do not mind losing to a restricted team as long as we fight a close battle. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. He's going to withdraw. Okay, that's a lovely turn. That's a lovely turn. He's going to withdraw and he's going to go into who? Spirit Tomb. Okay, I'm with that all day. I'm with this all day. All day I'm with this. Tiger is fast asleep. We know he's fast, so we might want to set up a Tailwind next turn. Might want to set up a Tailwind next turn. Nice Slash can come through here. Built huge damage. Or do we just want to take that thing out next turn? And hope that's asleep instead of setting up a Tailwind. Skull's going to come through here. How much damage are we doing on you? That's some good damage. Give me a burn. Show me a burn. Has a berry. Has a berry. Okay. Um, What is my play? What is the Jeans player? Rain does stop. That's huge. Rain is out. It's gone. Um, good Skull. I could just go into a sucker punch and finish that thing off. I think I'm going to say Kyogre's asleep again. He's only been asleep for one turn. So let's see if we can get this done. Show me he's asleep. I need him asleep for this basically to win. Because if not, he's going to drop an ice beam and take out my Hanjiro. He's going to take out my Hanjiro. He withdraws Kyogre. I'm with it all day. He withdraws Kyogre. He wants that intimidate factor out here. And I still think we're thriving. I still think we're doing really good. I do have sucker punch ready to roll. Which I might have to go into next turn. We'll see. Because even with intimidate, I still think Hanjiro can take out this him on top with a night slash. And I don't think Spirit Team's gonna be able to take out anybody. I think Hotchko's gonna be fastest. Yeah, Hotchko's fastest. Nice slash poking out here. Does not. I think soaks. Not very effective. Soaks it. I still thought we were gonna do a bit more damage than that. Skull's gonna come out here and that's gonna take out you. Now that I take out you, he does have a chance to fake out, which is kind of tough. And that's probably exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna fake me out. Fake out is coming in hot. It is coming in hot. Did we just scald over on that? I thought this is going to be super tough. It's going to be super tough. We have to get rid of the, uh, the hit my top. So I'm going to double down into... Actually, I'm going to uh, scald over on the hit my top. And then, uh, you know, nice slash into... Actually, I'm going to go for a sucker punch. I mean, fake out does come out first. So if he's going to fake us out, he's going to fake us out. But I'm just going to go into a uh, sucker punch here. He's going to go for the fake out on the Hanchko, right? Hanchko takes a punch. Show me Kyogre's still asleep. Show me still asleep. Yes, yo, he's still asleep. And yo, your boy with the Hanjko team is gonna go 2-0. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So in this case, we're just gonna go into a... Uh, we're just gonna go into a sucker punch because we know Kyogre is probably gonna wake up here. That was two turns sleep. Chances are he's gonna wake up on this third turn. So we're just gonna hit up on this thing with an Earth Power and then go into this thing with a sucker punch. Just in case it wakes up, we can get off some more damage before we die out. So I do like this. Sucker Punch gonna come through here. Yeah, oh. Get off some big damage. Almost KO'd. Almost KO'd. He's probably gonna wake up here. Yep, there's the wake up. And he's just gonna go for an Ice Beam. 
like I've been saying this whole time, right into my Hollisco. But more importantly, Gastron's gonna be chilling here, going to a nice little Earth Power, and we're gonna win this battle. We're gonna win this battle. Let's go. Daddy Honch Crow. Big Daddy Honch clutching it up for us. Clutching it up for us. Ludicolo definitely did some work on two of my Pokemon. But you know, Gastron and Honch Crow came in that back end and allowed us to go back to back. It's okay. Our opponent can bring restricted mods. It's all good. You know your boy is going to dump on him anyway. What a win in battle number two. That guy had Kyogre. He had Kyogre. We put that thing to sleep. We said night, night, and just went after it with Hanshko. But we're going up against another Swift Swim team. So Storm Jane Gastron, you definitely come back out here. He has Pelipper, Swift Swim, Kabutops. He has Rotom Wash, Ambipom, who is an absolute menace to society. The thing is amazing. Then he has Milotic and Dust Noir. So Gastron, you're definitely coming in here. We definitely want to bring you in here. Uh, I am going to uh, go in with Hanshko probably for a lead. Maybe try to get Tailwind, try to get speed like that. I could go Tangrowth again. Tangrowth is super, super good. I kind of want to lead Tangrowth, not going to lie. Tangrowth is working on a lot of these guys. So we are going to lead uh, Tangrowth. We just got to watch out for that Pelipper if he wants to go into Hurricanes and all that good stuff. We're going to bring Storm Jane Gaston. And then last but not least, do I bring Rotom Wash or Cress? Or Cresselia? It's Rotom Wash or Cresselia, definitely. Definitely one or the other. What do I go into? We haven't used Cresselia today, have we? I don't think we have. I don't think we have used Cresselia. But I think Rotom Wash is better. You guys seen plenty of Cres Cresselias. We're mainly here to show off that Honchkrow and that Tanker, two Pokemon that we haven't used before. So, you know what? I am just going to end up bringing uh, Rotom Wash and rolling out from there. I just think that's definitely the play. Kabutops is definitely a little scary. He is definitely a little scary, but the thing is with my Tangrowth, he counters the Kabutops, but he also has a Pelipper that can counter that. So he's going to end up going into Ambipom and Dustin Noir. Okay, I'm fine with that. Ambipom and Dustin Noir is going to pop out here. He can fake me out. Could definitely happen in turn one. And how should I play this one? I could Rage Powder. Could indeed Rage Powder, but then if he... uh. If he does something to my Honch Crow, it could be dirty. It could do me dirty. So I'm going to put the Ambipom to sleep if I can. And just roll out from there. So that's my plan. That is my plan. But yo, somebody commented on one of my videos, which is amazing. Which is an amazing comment. I'll talk about it after this play. He's going to fake out my Honch Crow. That's totally fine. Wow. Wow, Ambipom. And we miss. What the? What is this? What is this? He's just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. That is rough turn one. That's a rough turn one. That's a real rough turn right there. Because Ambipom should be slumped. Emmy Palm should be slumped. That is really rough. He does have four Pokemon, but this this is tough, dude. We're, we're just gonna have to go into a Sucker Punch here. See how much damage we can do and go into a Sleep Powder. Oh, I could have Rage Powder and just went to a Night Slash, but that's rough. That is a rough turn one. There. Sucker Punch gonna poke out here and it's still do a huge chunk of damage. I really do like that chunk of damage there. It's a great chunk of damage. And what's Emmy Palm gonna go into? A Last Resort. Oh no. God dang, Last Resort. We're still able to soak up all day. And Sleep Powder should come out here, and we finally connect. We finally connect to Sleep Powder. We could go into a uh, another Sucker Punch next turn, but I think Dustin War takes out my Honch Crow. Let's see, Nightshade's going to come out here, and now he's going to go after you, so I can Sucker Punch again. I can Sucker Punch again while we have Ambi Palm asleep and just start Giga Drain on. So I'm kind of digging this turn. Actually, Honch Crow outspeed, so I might as well just go into a Night Slash and try to get a crit. Try to get a crit. This battle is not over yet, but like I was saying, somebody left a comment in my recent videos, and I agree with it so much. He was saying the more sleeps that there are in the field, so say I put both these Pokemon to sleep, the easier they should be able to wake up. And I think that is great. It just stops people from just constantly putting Pokemon to sleep and just sleep controlling the whole battle. So I forget who left that comment, but yo, shout out to you. Shout out to you. I could go for Tailwind here and take speed control, but I think just going into here and going into a Giga Drain and getting some HP back up against Ambipom is going to be really good. Ambipom is slump. I'm going to guess it's a sleep for two turns. So if we can't take it out with two Giga Drains, I mean, we do have a Sucker Punch, which could be good, but Night Slash can poke here. That's some great damage. That's some lovely damage. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Giga Drain will come out first, which is awesome. So we should be able to circle up whatever Dustin War has to offer. And we do take out at least half health. So that is amazing. So we can take out Ambipom with next turn if it doesn't wake up. He's gonna go for will o -Wisp, and that's totally fine. We're special attacking. So it's just gonna get chip damage onto us. It is just gonna get chip damage. So we know we outspeed. We need Ambipom to be asleep. If Ambipom is asleep, we are sitting in a great spot because Night Slash should be able to take out Dust Noir here, right? And I'm going to bank on getting a crit. I'm going to bank on getting a crit here. And yo, Honchkrow is definitely going down next turn. We're going to see how this one plays out. We are going to definitely see how this one plays out. But not bad turns for us. We definitely made something out of nothing. I could go into a Tailwind here. I could go into a Tailwind because who am I back in Pokemon? I kind of want a Tailwind up here. I'm going to set up a Tailwind. I am going to set up a Tailwind. That's going to be my play. I think going into a Tailwind over... Over Night Slash is better. And he's going to withdraw Dust Noir anyway. So that's a huge turn for us. So great Tailwind turn. A great Tailwind turn. He's going to set the rain. And we're going to get Tailwind off before we do die out. 
which is lovely. Just gonna come out here and show me the Ambi Palm to sleep. We need that Ambi Palm to stay asleep. Be great. He is. That is wonderful, yo. Tank growth has been phenomenal. He has been phenomenal. He really has. Been. He really has been phenomenal. So we went from missing a sleep to really turning around this battle. Giga Jane's gonna poke here. Should be able to take out this Ambi Palm, no problem. Let's go. Get rid of that technician dude who does so much damage. You see how much damage he did onto my what's it called? You guys see how much damage he did onto my uh onto my Honchkrow with a fake out? And burn lets us on one, so we do get off one last shot. So I am just gonna go into a sucker punch. Actually, I don't have to go into a sucker punch. It really depends who he brings out here. It's gotta be Kabutops, right? It's gotta be Kabutops. Who we might outspeed. We might outspeed the tailwind. We'll see what he goes into. He does go into the Kabutops. Um, I do think a hurricane's probably gonna pop out here. So in this case, I might just go into Botom. Or do I go into Gastron? I'm gonna go in Gastron just in case he wants to use a water move. Actually, swap the wrong Pokemon. Swap the wrong Pokemon. And I think I'm just gonna go into a Sucker Punch just to maybe take off Sash on the Pelper in case it's rocking it. So we're gonna battle first turn. We are gonna go for the Sucker Punch. Try to get off that turn. Knock off the Sash there. And then just swap into Gastron. And get Regenerator Health back on my Tangra. I'm loving Tangra. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. I'm using him so much and just getting so much value. Out. I'm loving it. From Jay Gastron's gonna come out here and show me you're going for a water move. Sucker Punch is gonna poke and it fails. He set up a tailwind. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. Lucky bit. Oh my. Oh! What's up with the damage? What is up with the damage? Sucker Punch doesn't come through here because this thing is tailwinding. That's rough. This is so rough. That's rough news. And then Haunch is gonna go out here. So Haunch drops out here. I have to go into. That Kabutops is so good. That Kabutops is so good. I have to go on the Rotom. Kabutops is the fastest on the field because, you know, Hurricane's just going to do me dirty. I mean, yo, we do have our Koba Berry. We should have we went into our uh, Tangler. Should have went to our Tangler here. And in this case, I am just going to uh, go after this, this guy right here. He's just going to be a little bit better for us. And then if we could recover, I am going to recover. His knockoff did exactly 109 damage last time. So maybe we can eat it up if he goes for it again. Let's just see. Let's just see. Because if I can get off the Sea Bolt and recover at the same time, it'll be great. He's going to go for a knockoff. That's great. That's fine by me. And what's he going to go for with Paloops? He's going to go for a Hurricane. Let's hope one of my Pokemon can soak up a Hurricane. He's going to go for the Hurricane. Oh, Gashon can soak this up all day. Yes, sir, Gashon. So great turn for us. Show me no ducks. No ducks come out here. Thunderbolt's poking here. And that should take him out. Kabutops out for the count. Let's go. And we get a recover off on our Gashon. Great turn by us. Yo, we are rolling strong with the Haunch team right now. Hodge plays no games. The Hodge team plays no games around here. Loving it, loving it, loving it. The big HP restored. This spell is still definitely up for grabs. It's still definitely up for grabs. He's going to go into Dust Noir, which we all outspeed. Which we all outspeed. I wonder what he's going to go into. I could recover again, which I might just do. I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt here. Or I think that thing is Sash. I honestly think that thing is Sash. No, I'm just going to go into Dust Noir here. Actually, no. Actually, yes. Am I? What am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do here? This thing might protect. So I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to recover, dude. We have the... We can eat up shots. So I just think recovering is going to be our best play. He goes for a Hydro Pump. What, what a silly goose, dude. What a silly pe Pelipper, dude. What a silly Paloops. Or waste turn. And that, that pretty much solidifies that. Him wasting a turn with that. Storm Drain's going to poke here. It is not Sash. So, hey, let's go. Let's go. Perfect record with the Haunch team. With the Haunch team. Just rolling out strong. It's great. We got a bunch of people who are... Uh, who are using four Pokemon. So great day, great set of uh, battles for today, and a great video. Great video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, if you do enjoy, leave a little thumbs up. Leave a little thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, yo, get on top of that. Get on top of that. I'm tired of telling you guys. Subscribe to the Jeans community, yo. We post content every day. Not just any content. Great Pokemon. I enjoy playing this game. I have a tons of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching. I feel like I, I feel like I do a good job at playing the game pretty well and at entertaining it. But we're just going to roll into a Hydro Pump. This one's over with. This dude's probably just going to cancel. And we picked the perfect team for this. Two rain teams that we counteract, counteract it with with uh, Tangrowth, Honcho, and Storm Drain Gashon. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. He's going to go for a Pain Split. This thing's just trying to stay, stay afloat here. Just trying to stay afloat. We're going into two heavy water moves here with the rain. Gotta love it. Oh, I forgot. Yo. We're just boosting our uh, we're just boosting our Gashon. Yeah, I even forget sometimes that I have Storm Drain, even though he just used it. Skull's going to poke out here. And now we're plus two, so I don't mind going into Hydro Pump like that. Because, like, you see... So technically, I could say we did that on purpose now, but we really did. We really did it. 3-0. Gotta love the Hanch team.
Big Daddy Haunch team coming in clutch. Going 3-0 with it and loving it all around. Definitely not the best team that we use on this channel, but one of my favorites that we use in the BDSP format for sure. I love the Haunch Crow. Give it this life orb. Can do massive amount of damage. It has Tailwind for speed control, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and then it has Night Slash Brain Burn just to do some big damage, which we showcase in today's video. Not gonna lie, Tank Growth, I was not expecting much from him, and he performed. He outperformed everything he was amazing absolutely loved them had the regenerator had kicky drain to fully get some hp back and then we we're putting pokemon to sleep left and right and doing big damage all around but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody